slides are visible please continue doctor okay uh, vanakkam uh, myself dr om prakash um, i'm excited to present uh, my ethnomedical observations of some important medicinal plants uh, from kanyakumari an objective is to just to know about kanyakumari and its medical tradition and uh, details about kanyakumari wildlife sanctuary some of interesting plants with its local uses and what is the scope and what we have to do to preserve the bio uh, few of the interesting details uh, we, we all know it is uh, the southernmost part of india and once upon a time maybe many centuries before the tamil literatures or sangam literatures has mentioned uh, there was a place called there is a continent called lemuria or kumari kandam uh, which was situated uh, below the kanyakumari which we see now and uh, there were uh, happenings related to first and second sangam period of tamil literature and there were mountains there were rivers all the names were mentioned and uh, there were two important cities called ten madurai and kapattapuram uh, where this sangam was uh, flourishing and uh, many books have written uh, many of them have unfortunately lost by the time period and uh, those cities were described uh, destroyed one by one by the uh, huge uh, ocean and uh, but uh, we are fortunate to have tolkapiyam uh, which is one of the biggest uh, grammar book authentic grammar book of tamil literature and it is mentioned it is written by tolka peer and his guru's name was adanko tashan and there is a place still in kanyakumari called adankote and tolka peer presented uh, his his grammar book in front of uh, his guru in adankode uh, in that tolka peer uh, they have divided uh, the landscape into five actually it is four palai was later added and kurinji mullai maritham neidal and palai kurinji is the mountainous region mullai is the forests maritham is the agriculture land neidal is the coastal and palai is uh, arid land and these all are named after the flower which is very common there and uh, <clears throat> the beauty of kanyakumari is uh, we can observe all the five lands in this small landscape and um, it is rich in culture and there are cultivations varying from rice to rubber plantations and spices also and it is very thickly populated and it is less polluted compared to other parts of tamil nadu because of less factories and industrialization but the domestic population is more because of increasing population and it it receives my rains from both monsoons it has perennial rivers too and the forests of kanyakumari district is collectively known as kanyakumari wildlife sanctuary uh, which is very really important because it sits in the southernmost tip of western ghats um, in a guide which is um, published by the tamil nadu forest department it is mentioned the forest can be could be 75 million years old and it is said that uh, i don't know where, whether it is evidence based but it is it is said that when the lemuri or kumari kandam was destroyed before the destruction uh, due to the basic instinct the animals and plant species have moved a uh, little bit upper and higher areas and they are still um, that's why there are rare species of plants and animals uh, are seen in kanyakumari wildlife sanctuary and it is beautiful that 30 percentage of the total district is forests and out of them 52 percentage is very dense and thick forests and kanis are considered to be one of the important tribal populations there and the biodiversity is yet to be explored fully there are few research works conducted by the colleges and lecturers especially dr sukumar and sir um, uh, he has documented plants from uh, different sacred groves and uh, it is a home of sacred groves um, there are uh, hundreds of sacred groves here small and bigger and he has documented 200 sacred groves from different parts of kanyakumari district it is very valid information and there are four rivers and 10 reservoirs we have actual estuaries estuaries hills mountains rocks ponds and different uh, type of um, landscapes and if you uh, if i just uh, 
citing an example of biodiversity at Kanyakumari. And I'm working in a government hospital campus. Uh, it has a maybe one or one and a half acre land uh, behind my building. It is untouched. Maybe once in a year, they will cut and season it. That's it. Uh, so it's like a forest. And it is home for 100 plus plant species, which I have observed. There are still more. Uh, maybe I will disturb Dr. Ajayin sir for the ideas. And 15 plus birds, 15 plus butterflies, moths, ants, insect species, etc. So if this one acre land, which is untouched, has this much biodiversity, we can imagine the um, virgin forests, which is untouched, lying in the mountains. It's very wonderful. And few of the plants uh, I have cited here uh, for your references. Um, you can see two types of apamarga, two types of pata, and four ficus species, Anametra calculus or Kakavalli, Petra Sarayakara, Kotavalli, and uh, Ampelli, Ampelisis latifolia, which is um, our uh, Raktavalli or uh, <clears throat> it is flowering and fruiting. I have seen this plant in other parts of Kanyakumari, but it is not flowering and fruiting. But uh, in my campus, I can see it. And there are three types of Sharivas, Amrita and uh, Akalifa Indica, Harit Manjari, and um, Vanda tessellata on the huge trees and uh, spermococcus species, Basella alba and uh, Cosmostigma racemosa, which is called Kakamukavalli in Siddha system of medicine. And uh, there is Tragia involucrata, Grevia species, uh, our Helictris isora, Tetrastigma species, Desmodium species, three types of Bala. Cinnamon zelanicum, and uh, I purposefully avoided few cultivated plants. Uh, these all are growing here naturally, which is very beautiful to see. There is a huge tree of uh, um, uh, ficus trees, two trees together. It is very enlightening to see the species growing very beautifully. And there is much muddy plants of Trumpeta rhomboidea, which the bees are coming to honey from them. There is a huge tree of uh, Mullilavu, Shalmelia malabarica also. And birds, like these beautiful birds, uh, white-cheeked barbat, red-whiskered bulbul, flycatchers, rocket trail dranko, and once in a while, um, there is a visit of our brown malabar hornbill. And butterflies, like uh, one of the biggest, one of the big butterflies of our country, uh, the common banner peacock is seen, small cutest butterfly like red pyrite, common bush brown, tawny coster, all are seen here. So this much uh, uh, diversity is there in only in this one acre of land which is surrounded by civilization and uh, it is very delightful to be working even. So this is the picture uh, from the internet, it is taken from Kalimala, one of the beautiful temple. Uh, which lies in the hilltop and uh, our Kanyakumari sanctuary has 14 type of different forests uh, differing from evergreen forest to thorn scrub in the Mahendragiri hills and uh, floristically one of the richest area in the country having 3500 uh, flowering plant, 12 endangered and 21 vulnerable. Even the Arogya Pacha plant as documented here in Pechipara uh, there is a village called Pechipara which has a famous dam called Pechipara Dam it is actually a natural kyle, a water body, and but built as a dam. And uh, they have a beautiful botanical garden, uh, which uh, homes for 200 different species. And uh, about few plants uh, from Kanyakumari, Apamarga or Nayuruvi. Two types of Apamargas are observed, Akiranta Saskara and Sayatula Prostrata. And the Sayatula Prostrata um, is a uh, Chiru Nayuruvi or Chiru Kataladi. And the coconut oil cooked with the whole plant. It is used for pediatric dermatological conditions for the Kani uh, tribes. And the root of, of Akiranta saspara is used as a toothbrush, like how we use the neem tweaks. And the leaf paste is used for lice problems. And I have used the Akiranta saspara leaves uh, pasted with sesame oil to control menstrual bleeding. And it is very helpful. And this prayoga is mentioned in Sahasra Yoga also. And it is mentioned and it is also Rahasya Yoga. But it is very useful within three to five days and um, out of uh, eight, eight out of ten cases, the bleeding is arresting. The Pata 
Uh, there are two types of pada observed in the same area, which is very delight to see. One is Cisamplus pereira and Cyclea peltata. And the leaf paste of Cyclea peltata can be applied over the crown to reduce excessive heat in the infants. This information also is given by Carnitrite. And Cisamplus pereira, the kashayam of dry roots is used in Vyadikshin avastha. The cases um, who are deb um, debilitated by the long standing diseases. The kashayam is useful. Even the cyclia peltida paste uh, is applied uh, over the emotionally disturbed person's uh, scalp also as a thala. I have uh, noticed uh, from a person who is uh, generally goes to the forests and the bella varieties. In Kanyakumari, generally we can see five types of bella, uh, sida combinations. Here people use sida cordifolia generally and uh, the, the humorous thing is uh, the common people doesn't know Bella as a medicine for uh, Vata Vyadi or uh, neurological problems. They, they, they know only Bella uh, as a tali or, or a hair tone. They make uh, oils boiling with the leaves of a uh, whole plant, leaves of the Kurindoti. That's how they, they know the Bella. And uh, I'm happy at least uh, people remember the herbal uses uh, at least for the hair beauty. And palai, the milky plants are known as palai. Common name is palai. Pal means uh, milk, so it is called palai. And uh, here we can see these four types of palai things. And out of them, Cryptolopis buchnani is one of the important plant uh, for the Kani tribes because they use the milk of the plant um, for the thrones to come out of the picked area. And Alstonia scholaris, the milk of this uh, plant is used uh, to heal the ulcers, uh, the wounds uh, uh, of the cattle, and they tell the worms will come out if you put the milk inside the wound. And Kshir Virksha or Alam Rangel. Um, and, the, uh, and the Ficus Kelosa is a very beautiful tree which is uh, growing uh, in, my, in our campus. And the Adventitious roots are also used as a hair tonic. And uh, the adventitious roots are also used as kashaya in treating Vata Vikara. I have seen good results in few cases of uh, calcaneus spur. The pain of the calcaneus spur is reducing by the kashaya. Uh, see, I'm, I'm practicing the government sector and unfortunately the Tamil Nadu government medicine supply is less in government dispensaries of Ayurveda. So I try to uh, use the single drug remedies as much as possible um, and I found they are helpful. And the correlation is very important and we have to use it according to the um, uses. And while, while talking to the people uh, of the Kani tribes, I noticed uh, they have uh, very good demarcation between the tribal use and, uh, and Shastric use. When I was asking about the Shalmali trees, they told about the use of the leaves, but they didn't uh, tell about the use of the bark. And they told, we collect the barks and give to the Vaidyas, they only use it. So that's how the, uh, the remedy can be used to Shastric way and, uh, and the home remedy or uh, their urgent use is demarcated. And uh, the Kanyakumari is one of the place where the, where the specialized practices are prevalent since very beginning. Um, because we can see whenever a person comes as a, with skin diseases, he never tell it is a skin disease. They will tell me it is Vishakadi or poisonous bites. Even I have seen uh, the people with psoriasis, they, they consider it is a vishakadi, it is an insect bite and they would go to the traditional vaidyas to take treatment and they consider it is, it's very difficult to make them believe it is not an insect bite but it is a skin disease. But I'm happy because uh, they, they are approaching the, uh, for the traditional treatment uh, for, for many problems. Even I have seen people fall and have fractures. They have first approached the traditional physician, then only they come to the allopathy side. So it is a much scope for practicing medicines. But the, the worrying is people are, uh, nowadays the new generation people are turning more towards the uh, allopathy side. We can see uh, in, if you go to any Trivandrum uh, allopathy big hospitals, many of the people are coming from Kulashegram because it is economically rich area after the rubber plantations. 
uh, we'll come to the topic again and we can observe the kaka udumbara and udumbara the ficus hirta and the ficus racemosa grown from the same place and chulli vagegal are barleria species five types of barleria species are seen here and the one more thing barleria mysurensis i have observed but the id is not confirmed yet and the barleria prionitis is also called vajradanti or sireka which is used for tooth problems here people generally use its root and whole plant for vata vyadi as a kashaya and barleria strigosa is also one of the beautiful blossoms and uh, i have seen this plant roadside it is growing and people are cutting it but still again growing this is another problem here people are not aware of uh, rare plants and they are growing in the road sides also because once upon a time it, uh, the kulashegram was and kanyakumari was a forest area especially the kulashegram the west side of kanyakumari it was not habituated well so the plants are growing everywhere and people have to be educated about the importance and the rl varieties uh, puliyaral and neeraral puliyaral is also called changeri and oxalis carniculata and sunishanaka is marsilia quadrifolia which is called neeraral Uh, in the, the rice fields, I have observed Sunishanaka, and the little mountainous areas, I have observed Changiri. Both are having almost the same effect. And the Shwaras, uh, personally, I have seen the people are using the Shwarasa or Kalka for uh, inflammatory bowel diseases and ulcerative colitis. Even personally, I have experienced good results uh, with the Changiri paste as a Kalka, especially when the symptoms are reducing. To reduce the reoccurrence, I have used Changiri, and it is very helpful. and sunishanaka is found to be as a, if it is used as a vegetable it can provide good sleep and seriyarnagai and piriyarnagai and polygala species are called uh, polygala javanica is called piriyarnagai and seriyarnagai is always a controversial plant and generally people consider even polygala species or andrographis paniculata and both the plants are used for snake bites as we know here also and the leaf paste with milk is used for aphrodisiac purpose by the people here and trifala and dashamula i have observed all the dashamula plants here except uh, shonaka oroxella mendicum other plants have seen and the haritaki from kanyakumari is uh, considered to be of higher quality even we can uh, we can remember Uh, from dr balamurgan's class the rohini variety is growing in kanyakumari which is mentioned in agastir gunapadam of siddha system of medicine and the huge vibhitaki trees are found in um, sacred groves and two varieties of patala are found stereospermum species and uh, dolichondron species and uh, two types of kumidam are found here melina arborea and melina asiatica the melina asiatica has the same effect like patala garudi as the leaves and the fruits is a very uh, uh, it produces thickness in, uh, if you mix with the water the paste of the leaves and fruits it will increase the thickness of water and the water is drunk by the people to reduce the tiredness and weakness and many desmodium species are seen here desmodium triflorum desmodium heterophyllum desmodium jangeticum and desmodium gyrans and smilax zeylanica or karvilanji in tamil and we always know madhusrihi uh, as a important plant mentioned in bhav prakasha samhita um, but here in siddha system of medicine the smilax plants are used since beginning and it, it, this variety is a native variety and also observed in sri lanka it is commonly used for skin diseases and the main the forest people are seeing saying the ulcer created from the uh, spines of smilax zeylanica is difficult to heal but it is useful for uh, but the plant is useful for treating skin diseases it is commonly used for non healing ulcers leucorrhea genital ulcers and arthritis and generally they use the powder powder form with milk or honey and uh, this plant is mentioned in sahasra yogam too as one of the four important plants for wound healing and external uses also the the water boiled with the roots um, the 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 vapor from the kashayam of the root can be exposed to the wound for the wound healing anamata calculus or kakai uh, kulli this interesting plant the kanis Uh, kani tribes they are using the oil cooked with the roots for the wound healing and it is also used for intoxicating fishes the what they do they 
they take the fruits mix with the uh, uh, ground floor and put it on the water body the fruit uh, when the fishes eats the fruits they become intoxicated and they can easily catch the fishes and this plant is growing abundantly in the many sacred groves as a very big lianas bombax siba mullilavam one of the beautiful plant i um, i can say this is also a tree of life after the banyan tree because now it is flowering in my campus there are so many flowers even the meadow downside is filled with flowers i have seen the i have seen uh, the black headed oriel is taking the honey all the time and there are so many bird birds and uh, sun birds are seeking over the honey here the leaf paste with milk is used for body mixturation the resin is used for sambana purpose and also in dhatu pushti uh, the medicines for dhatu pushti the resin of the uh, shalmali plant is used and it is also used for controlling uterine bleeding and flacotia indica or hugonia mustax sotaikala is uh, it's a tamil name for flacotia indica sruva vriksha in our our science and hugonia mustax is modarakanni or kamsamara in sanskrit they grown in a rocky areas foothills and abundant fortresses uh, we all know there is a palace called pattanavura palace in kanyakumari district which is uh, owned by i dynasty and trivandrum dynasty in different parts of times and uh, it has a big uh, a tall 5 uh, km circumference um, fort wall uh, which is going around the pattanavura town it when one side it has rocky formations Uh, so these two plants are growing abundant there and uh, but uh, it they both are medicinal plants and the 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 fruits of flacotia indica is used to increase appetite um, uh, the the roots and leaves of uh, kamsamara is used to treat snake bites indigo ferra aspalathoids or shivanar vembu this is one of the important plant in siddha system of medicine and also kanyakumari local tradition for treating skin diseases in psoriasis this plant is very useful there is a preparation called shivanar vembu thailam which is very useful in treating skin diseases this plant can be used externally and internally it grows in the hill tops of western parts of kanyakumari especially in the coastal area gravia species are unnumaram uh, this has beautiful flowers and tasty fruits the fruits are edible the kani tribes they have told me that this uh, fruits can be eat, eaten and it gives good energy uh, for the long time walking the und is interestingly helping to make uh, the trenching hoe you know the agriculture manveti so uh, if if that wood is used then uh, if it is strong but light in weight so it is easy to work and the, the hands own pain even after long working it also seen in sacred groves vitex species i have observed five types of vitex species in kanyakumari district out of the vitex leucoxylum it is a vennochi and it is a very huge tree i have uh, at least 100 years old tree in front of my hospital which is very tall and vitex altissima is also used uh, it also called um, mailai maram and uh, all the vitex species the leaves are used for vata vyadi um, for swedana purpose skyracea pedata or naralai or puli naralai now this is one of the plant um, which is growing abundantly all over the place the leaf is used for rakta gulma which is also mentioned in siddha system of medicine the leaf kashayam is used even kalka root kashayam is used for hydrocele uh, uh, by the kani tribes yeah. it is also used in rasavatam and uh, another variety of kairesia kairesia trifolia is also observed alanjim salvifolium or alinjil we call it ancola we know this plant uh, because it is it is mentioned in ashtanga hridaya uh, for uh, uh, for um, alarka visha or dog bites uh, these fruits are also edible the seeds are used in hair, hair tonic formulations and the leaves are known for its anti poisonous purpose uh, for external use and internal use too the powder from the root is uh, used uh, for treating non healing ulcers or the external dusting like trifala churnam avachurnanam and uh, one of the yoga called ankola bijadi thailam is used for hair uh, growth um, which is, uh, the information told by dr balamurugan sir tetrasera kara 
it is very it has very beautiful flowers you can see in the photos i have seen in the roadside again it is also growing in my uh, campus um the people the tribe the kanyu tribe they have told me uh, the tender leaves are very sharp they can create ulcers if you walk through this and uh, uh, it is believed uh, the kanyu tribes they are using it for the liver diseases and uh, they told uh, for bleeding diseases like raktapitta also they are using the leaves as internal medicines uh, but uh, detaily they did not tell uh, i need to meet them again and this is also found in sacred groves lania coromandelica or odia maram is called udi maram the bark is used as a bandage for fractured limbs uh, one of uh, one of my friend called dr devraj he conferred this information Uh, the bark is used as a bandage to uh, for the immobilization purpose the bark decoction is used for wound wash the gum from the tree is used uh, to increase the milk quality for lactating mothers and uh, one of the interesting information in our uh, village in our district like tanjore district uh, when we are getting married uh, when a bride goes to bridegroom's home um, the first duty she does is planting a tree so this tree we particularly select uh, we take the we take a piece of branch and we do pujas during our marriage ceremony we take this along with us and yeah. we plant it we plant it in our homes sir please uh, please uh, try to stick to the time okay sir and sirupullani or jetonia floripanta it is uh, one of source of shushavi used for skin diseases and worm infestations it has water inside it it has beautiful synonyms called valivalli or brihatvalli uh, so the when they didn't found water they take, they cut down the branch and drink the water which is available and adande caparis zeylanica it is a edible plant and also used to treat skin diseases um few of the common remedies which we use um and the the kashayam of mudakacha or ratri lata is used to avoid cord problems during pregnancy uh, generally here people when they get fever they take water boiled with moringa leaves or kanji boiled with moringa leaves uh, to reduce the fever and the paste of cyanotis axillaris with small onion juice as applied on, on the fresh wounds to heal and uh, one of my friend dr meena gautaman is uh, documenting this uh, traditional details especially in the antenatal care and he has published also a book on this uh, by the government and the scope is it is very diverse has a beautiful environment for herbal cultivation and in situ pre uh, preservation of rare herbs the documentation is the needed thing um, especially in the kanyakumari wildlife sanctuary the rich traditional knowledge may open new windows to treat new diseases with new uh, me medicines the main threat for the ecosystem here is the deforestation by illegal quarrying and the illegal farms and plantations are encroaching the forest area and the need for the actions to do is the regulating plantations and quarries especially there is a velimala which is very important place which is situated in between western ghats and eastern hills is uh, much affected by the illegal quarrying and it has to be prevented many actions are going on to prevent the the destruction of the native forests and awareness of herbs among public is much needed and the infrastructure developments should be considered nature friendly also um, thank you so much and uh, thank you uh, dr ajayan sir for giving me the opportunity and uh, thank you all ashtangam ayurveda vidya freedom for calling me uh, to present my uh, observation and uh, this is just starting beginning of a uh, documenting of the details um, i have just done it very informally and i wish i should do it in a proper documentation in the future times thank you so much nandri Thank you so much, sir. The session was on uh, ethnomedic study of plants in Kanyakumari and was very interesting as well as informative.